So we have here a rhombus and a rectangle, and we've used these before to establish some equivalence. Remember that this rhombus is equivalent to this rectangle. So today we're going to use this plate to help us find the formula for area of a rhombus. So the first thing we need to do is identify the uh, parts of the rhombus. We have a base right here. Our height's a little harder to see, but we can put it that here. We can see here's our height. So let's see what that means in terms of our rectangle. The base of the rectangle is the same as the base of the rhombus. <clears throat> and the height of the rectangle is the same as the height of the rhombus. So if we wanted to find the area of a rhombus, we could multiply its base times its height. I wonder if you'd like to explore finding the area of other rhombuses.